Hello YouTubers and welcome to the Rodney1279 channel on this April 28th day of 2014. We're going to do our regular Bible readings on today. So let's pray. Father God, give us the strength to hear your word. Give us the guidance to understand your word. Give us the uh, um, um, the victory through your word. And God, forgive us for our sins and our shortcomings, God. We ask that you forgive us, God. And we ask that we may do your thing and your will in the name of Jesus. Now, Father God, as we get ready to go forth into these scriptures on tonight, let these scriptures minister to our spirit and to our um, um, and uh, and to your ways, God, in the name of Jesus, we pray this prayer through Christ, which strengthens us. It's in Jesus' name, Amen. All right, guys, we're gonna read on today, Second Samuel, the fifteenth chapter, all the way through to. Second Samuel, seventeenth chapter, verse fourteen. We're going to get right into it because it is late. So let's read. The first parable takes place with Absalom's rebellion. Absalom's rebellion. Second Samuel, fifteenth chapter, verse one through twelve. Here's the reading of God's word. After this, it happened that Absalom provided himself with chariots and horses, and fifty men to run before him. Now Absalom would rise early and stand beside the way to the gate. So it was, so it was whenever anyone who had, who had had a lawsuit came to the king for a discussion, that Absalom, that Absalom would call to him and say, What city? What city are you from? And he would say, he would say, your servant, your servant is from such and such a tribe of Israel. Then Absalom, then Absalom would say to him, look, look, your case is good and right, but there is, but there is no deputy of the king to hear you. Moreover, moreover, Absalom would say would say, Oh, thou were made judge in the land. And everyone who has any suit or cause will come to me. Then I will give him justice. And so it was whenever anyone came near to bow down to him that he would put out his hand and take him and kiss him. In this manner, Absalom acted toward all Israel who came to the king for judgment. So Absalom stole the hearts of the men of Israel. Now it came to pass after 40 years that Absalom said to the king, please let me go to Hebron and pay, and pay the vow which I made to the Lord. For your, for your servant took a vow while I dwelt at Geshur in Syria, saying, if the Lord if the Lord indeed brings me back to Jerusalem, then I will serve the Lord. And the king said to him, Go in peace. So he arose, so he arose and went to Hebron. Then Absalom, then Absalom sent spies, sent spies throughout all the tribe of Israel, saying, As soon as you hear the sound of the trumpet, then you shall say, Absalom reigns in Hebron. And Absalom went, 200 men invited from Jerusalem. Well, let me uh, read that again. With Absalom went 200 men invited with Jerusalem, from Jerusalem, and they went along innocently and did not know anything. Then Absalom sent for Ahithophel, the Gilgalite, David's counselor, from his city, from his city, from Gilgo, while he, while he offered sacrifices, and and the conspiracy and the conspiracy grew strong, for the people, for the people with Absalom, continually, continually increased in number. 
David escapes from Jerusalem. David escapes from Jerusalem. 2 Samuel 15, chapter, verses 13 through 37. David escapes from Jerusalem. Now a messenger came to David, saying, The hearts of the men of Israel are with Absalom. So David said to all his servants who were with him at Jerusalem, Arise, and let us flee, or we shall not escape from Absalom. Make haste to depart, lest he overtake us suddenly and bring disaster upon us, and strike the city with the edge of the sword. And the king's servants said to the king, We are your servants, ready to do whatever my lord the king commands. Then the king went out with all his household after him, but the king left ten women, concubines, to keep to keep the house, and the king and the king went out with all with all the people after him, and stopped and stopped at the outskirts. And then all his servants and all his servants passed before him, and all and all the Chirithites, all the Pelithites, and all the Gittites. 600 men, 600 men who had, who had followed him from Gath, passed before, passed before the king. Then the king, and the king said to Ittai, the Gittai, why are you, why are you also going with us? Return and remain with the king, for you are, for you are a foreigner and also, and also an exile also an exile from your own place. In fact, in fact, you came, you came only yesterday. Should I make you, should I make you wander, wander up and down with us today? As I go out, as I go, I know not where. Return, return and take your brethren back. Mercy, mercy and truth be with you. But Ittai, but Ittai answered, but Ittai answered the king, and said, and said, as the Lord lives, and as my, as my Lord the king lives, surely, surely in whatever place my Lord the king shall be, whether, whether in, whether in death or life, even there also your servant will be. So David said to Ittai, Go, go and cross over the Ittai, the Ittai the Gittai, and all, and all his men, and all, and all the little ones who were, who were with him, crossed over, and all, and all the country, and all the country wept, and all the country wept with a loud voice, and all the people, and all the people crossed over. The king. The king himself also crossed over the brook Kidron, and all the people and all the people crossed over toward the way of the wilderness. There, there was Zadok also. There was Zadok also, and all the Levites and all the Levites with him, bearing the ark, bearing the ark of the covenant of God. And they, and they set down, they set down the ark of God. And Abiathar, and Abiathar went up until all the people, until all the people had finished, had finished crossing over from the city. Then the king, then the king said, and the king said to Zadok, carry the ark, carry the ark of God back into the city. If, if I find favor, if I find favor in the eyes of the Lord, he will bring you will bring me back and show me, show me both it and his dwelling place. But if he says thus, I have no delight in you, here I am. Let him to do to me as seems good to him. The king also said to Zadok the priest, Are you not a seer? Return to the city in peace and your two your two sons with you, Ahimaaz 
and here are of your son and Jonathan, and Jonathan the son of Abiathar. See, see, I will wait, I will wait in the plains, in the plains of the wilderness, until word, until word comes from you, until word comes from you to inform me. Therefore, therefore they died, therefore they died, and Abiathar, and Abiathar carried the ark, carried the ark of God back to Jerusalem. And they, and they remained there, and they remained there. So David, so David went up, so David went up by the accent, by the accent of the Mount of Olives, and wept, and wept as he went up, and wept as he went up. And he all had sick, and he had his head, he had his head covered and went barefoot. And all the people and all the people who were who were with him, who were with him, covered covered their heads, covered their heads and went up and went up weeping, weeping as they went up. Then someone then someone told David saying, A Hithro fell is among is among the conspirators with Absalom. And David said, O Lord, I pray, turn the counsel, turn the counsel of Ahithophel into foolishness. Now it happened when David had come to the top of the mountain where he worshipped God. There was Hushai the archite coming to meet him with his robe torn and dust on his head. David said to him, If you go on with me, then you will become a burden to me. But if you return, but if you return to the city and say and say to Absalom, I will be I will be your servant, O king, as I was as I was your father's servant previously, so I will so I will now also be your servant. Then you, then you may defeat, then you may defeat the council of Ahithophel for me. And do you, and do you not have Zadok and Abiathar the priest with you there? Therefore, therefore it will be that whatever you hear from the king's house, you shall tell, you shall tell to Zadok and Abiathar the priest. Indeed, indeed, they have there with them their two sons, Ahimaaz, Zadok's son, and Jonathan, Abiathar's son, and by them, and by them you shall send me everything you hear. Mm -hmm. So Hushai, so Hushai, David's friend, went into went into the city, and Absalom came into Jerusalem. Okay, David and Ziba. David and Ziba. This is in 2 Samuel, the 16th chapter, verses 1 through 4. David and Ziba, 2 Samuel, the 16th chapter, verses 1 through 4. When David was a little past the top of the mountain, there was Ziba, the servant of Mephibosheth, who met him with a couple of saddled donkeys, and on them 200 loaves of bread, 100 clusters of raisins, 100 summer fruits, and a skin of wine. And the king said to Ziba, What do you mean to do with these? So Ziba said, The donkeys are for the king's household to ride on, the bread and summer fruit for the young men to eat, and the wine for those who are faint in the wilderness to drink. Then the king said, And where is your master's son? And Ziba said, and Ziba said to the king, Indeed, indeed he is staying in Jerusalem. For he said, Today his today the house of Israel will restore the kingdom of my father to me. So the king so the king said to Ziba, Hear all that belongs to Mephibosheth is yours. And Ziba and Ziba said, I humbly bow before you. 
that I may that I may find favor in your sight, my Lord, O King. Second Samuel the sixteenth chapter verses five through fourteen. Second Samuel sixteen chapter verses five through fourteen. Shimei curses David. Second Samuel the sixteenth chapter verses five through fourteen. Shimei curses David. Now when, now when King David came to Baharim, there was a man, there was a man from the family of the house of the house of Saul, whose name, whose name was Shimei, the son of Gera. Coming from there, he came out, cursing continuously as he came. And he threw stones at David and at all the servants of King David. And all the people and all the mighty men were on his right hand and on his left. And Shimei said thus when he, when he cursed, Come out, come out, you bloodthirsty man, you rogue. The Lord has brought upon you all the blood of the house of Saul, in whose place you have reigned. And the Lord and the Lord has delivered the kingdom into the hand of Absalom your son. So now so now you are caught so now you are caught in your own evil because because you are a bloodthirsty man. Then then Abishai, then Abishai the son of Zeruiah said to the king, Why should why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Please, please let me go over and take off his head. But the king but the king said, What have I to do with you, you sons of Zeruiah? So let him so let him curse, because the Lord because the Lord has said to him, Curse David. Who then who then shall who then shall say, Why have why have you done so? And David and David said to Abishai, and all his servants, see how my son, see how my son, who came, who came from my, who came from my own body, seeks my life. How much more, how much more now made this Benjamite? Let him alone, let him alone, and let him curse, for so, for so the Lord has ordered him. It may, it may be that the Lord will look on my affliction, and. And that the Lord, and that the Lord will repay me with good, with good for his cursing this day. And as David, and as David and his men went along the road, Shimei, Shimei went along the hillside opposite him and cursed, and cursed as he went. Threw stones at him, threw stones at him and kicked up dust. Now the king now the king and all the people, now the king and all the people who were with him, who were with him became very weary. So they refreshed themselves, they refreshed themselves there. A hit throw fell advises Absalom. A hit throw fell advises Absalom. Second Samuel, the 16th chapter, verse 15 through the 17th chapter, verse 4. A hit throw fell advises Absalom. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Absalom, Absalom, and all, and all the people, the men of Israel, the men of Israel came to Jerusalem, and Ahithophel, and Ahithophel was with him, and so it was, and so it was when the Hushai, Hushai the Archite, David's friend, came to Absalom, that Hushai, that Hushai said to Absalom. Long live, long live the king, long live the king. So Absalom said to Hushai, Is this your loyalty to your friend? Why did you not go with your friend? And Hushai said to Absalom, Not know but whom the Lord and this people and all the men of Israel choose, his I will be, and with him I will remain. Furthermore, whom should I serve? Should I not serve in the presence of his son, as I have served in your father's presence? 
so will I be in your presence. Then Absalom, then Absalom said to Ahithophel, give advice, give advice as to what we should do. And Ahithophel said to Absalom, go into your father's concubines, whom he has left, whom he has left to keep the house, and all Israel, and all Israel will hear that you are that you are abhorred by your father. Then the hands, then the hands of all, then the hands of all who are with you will be will be strong. So they pitch, so they pitch a tent for Absalom on the top, mm -hmm. on the top of the house, and Absalom, and Absalom went into his father's concubines in the sight of all Israel. Now the advice of Ahithophel, which he gave in those days, was as if one had inquired at the oracle of God. So was, so was all the advice of Ahithophel, both with David, both with David and with Absalom. Moreover, moreover Ahithophel, moreover Ahithophel said to Absalom. Now let me, now let me choose 12,000, now let me choose 12,000 men, and I will, and I will arise, I will arise and pursue David tonight. I will come upon, I will come upon him while he is weary and weak. And make him, and make him afraid. And all the people, and all the people who are, who are with him will flee. And I will, and I will strike only the king. Then I will bring, then I will bring back all the people to you. When all the, when all return, when all return except the man whom you see, all the people will be at peace. And the same, and the same please Absalom and all the elders of Israel. Last saw parable. Hushai counters Ahithophel's advice. This is in 2 Samuel, 17th chapter, verses 5 through 14. Then Absalom said, Now call Hushai the archite also, and let us hear what he says too. And when Hushai, and when Hushai came to Absalom, Absalom spoke to him, saying, saying, Ahithophel, Ahithophel has spoken, has spoken in this manner. Shall we, shall we do as he says? If not, if not, speak up. So Hushai, so Hushai said to Absalom, the advice, the advice that Ahithophel has given is not good at this time. For, for said Hushai, you know your father and his men. That they are mighty men, and they are enraged in their minds, like a bear robbed of her cubs in the field. And your father is a man of war, and will not camp with the people. Surely by now he is hidden in some pit, or in some other place. And it will be, when some of them are overthrown at the first, that whoever, that whoever hears it will say, there is a slaughter among the people who follow Absalom, and even he who is valiant, whose heart is like the heart of a lion, will melt completely. For all Israel knows that your father is a mighty man, and those who are with him are valiant men. Therefore I advise that all Israel be fully gathered to you, from Dan to Beersheba, like the sand that is by the sea for multitude, and that you go to battle in person. So we will come upon him in some place where he may be found, and we will fall on him as the dew falls on the ground. And, all, and of him and all, and all the men who are with him, there shall not be left so much as one. Moreover, moreover, if he, moreover, if he has withdrawn, if he has withdrawn into a city, 
then all Israel, then all Israel shall bring ropes to the to that city, and we will put and we put it into the river until there is not one small stone found there. So Absalom and all the men of Israel said, The advice of Hushai, the archite, is better than the advice of Ahithophel. For the Lord had purpose to defeat the good advice of Ahithophel, the intent that the Lord might bring disaster on Absalom. Thank you for this word on this evening, God. Now, Father, guys, we uh, go ahead and go on through the rest of the night or wherever time it is. Give us the guidance to hear your will and give us the guidance to understand your will. And as we have your will, we live in victory through your word on a daily basis. And we pray this prayer now it is in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, this is the Rocky 1279 channel for signing off saying be safe, be careful, and take care of everybody and stay blessed. Have a good night. And uh, bye-bye, everybody.